Hey, Room 214, it's me again, your teacher. Did I hear someone read that word for me? I bet I did. You guys might be like, why, Miss Alicia? Why are you on our screens again? Hmm. I'll tell you why. It's because it's time for... <gasps> What's this word? Class. And in class, we work and learn. And I just want to remind you guys that no matter the, does anyone recognize this word? It's got a little glare. No matter the place in room 214, we still come to class to work and learn. You guys ready to work and learn with Miss Alicia? Let's check in with the date today. Does anyone know what day it is? Yesterday was Monday. So does that mean today is? Who can read that? T -t 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 Tuesday. That's right. It's Tuesday. And on Tuesdays, we get our T-Rex on. Ready? Get your T-Rex on. And my little tiny T-Rex arms. That's me being a T-Rex for you guys. Get your T-Rex on today. So it is Tuesday, the month. Who remembers the month? It comes right after March, but it's ending soon. The month is April. That's right. Today is Tuesday, April. Here's our number date. Now we've been talking about the tens place and the ones place. Does anyone know which number is in the tens place? Did I hear you say the number two? If I did, you're right, good job. And then eight is our number in the ones place. So what does that tell us? That tells us it's the number 28. And when we have a date, remember we add that TH on the end, the 28th. So today is, Tuesday, April 28th, and our year is still the same, 2020. I'm so glad you guys could join me today because we're going to be reading our books soon, our new unique books, but not today. Where is my baby? And at the petting zoo. I bet some of you have some predictions about what our unit might be about. But we're going to preview our vocabulary. And then later this week, we'll be reading our stories and working on our comprehension questions and doing some super fun activities about our theme. Does anyone have a guess what our theme is? Hmm. If you said animals and their babies, guess what? You're right. Good job. So the first vocabulary word for our new unit is the word animal. Now remember, an animal is a living thing. It could be a bird, a frog, or a kangaroo. If you have a dog or a cat living in your home or a fish or anything else, that's an animal too. The next word we have is baby. And a baby is a new life, something that's just entered this world. Do any of you guys have babies at home? I think some of you do. Our next word is little. When something's little, it's small. Sometimes you can't see it well, or sometimes it means it has more time to grow. So babies are little because they haven't grown yet. Our next word is the opposite of little. Big. The next word is big. When something's big, it's large and you can see it well and it has a presence. Miss Alicia, I used to be a little baby, but then I grew and grew and grew and now I'm a big teacher. The next word, this is an important word. This word is mother. A mother is a grown-up who takes care of a baby. All of you have wonderful mothers, so remember that. 
And, you know, I want to give you another mother doesn't mean that you came from the body. To me, a mother is just the person who has decided to take care of that little baby and love it and kiss it and give it all the opportunities in the world. That's what mother means to me. The next word is father. The difference between mother and father is father's usually a man. And a father is the man who takes care of you and loves you and kisses you and gives you everything you need. You all have some really great fathers out there too. Oh, and these are some words that we've looked at before, so I hope you can remember them. This word is same. Same. When two things are the same, they match. And they look alike, and they sound alike, and sometimes even smell alike. That means that they are a match. So like those two red squares, those are the same. Oh, our next word is another opposite word. It's the opposite of same. The word is different. Different means those things do not match. They are two separate things. Like here, we have a red square and a blue circle. Do those match? No, they're not the same shape or color. So they are different. And our last word is parent. A parent is a mother or a father. It's some adult who takes care of you and loves you and looks out for you. So those are our vocabulary words for our new unit and unique. I'm really looking forward to this unit because you know what Miss Alicia loves? Animals and babies. We're going to be looking at a lot of those. How exciting, guys. And guess what? Coming up, I have a song for you today. Hope you'll tune in. Bye, boys. I love you.